Hello, and welcome to Conquering Boredom. I am your host, Marcus Howe, and tonight we'll be playing Zombicide, Green Horde. The challenge for us tonight will be Quest 8, Calling the Herd. In this quest, we'll be setting up barriers in order to cut off the route of the Horde. Go, go, go! Build up higher! Get it up higher! Let's go! Hurry! They're coming! Build up higher! We'll also have to collect objectives and magic vault weapons. And finally, we'll have to free the trebuchet. Mizra Thunder Case and Tom! Ah, yes, this will do. No, no, I, I said tribute, tribute. Never mind. So, gather your friends as I gather mine. And we take on the Green Horde. For boredom! Boredom! <sighs> All right. So we've already set up the board, as you can see. And we've each picked out our own characters, and so I'll go ahead and start. We've already determined who's going to go first. So yeah, this is the beginning of Culling the Herd. Did we really decide? I don't feel like we did actually decide, <laughs> now that you say that. Hey, it's in front of me. It's decided. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. In order to um, win this game, we're going to have to block off both this spawn zone and this spawn zone with these barriers. Then we have to find the blue objective. Once we find the blue objective, we are going to be able to unlock this door. And then once we unlock that door, we'll have to clear out the trebuchet and we will win once um, all of our survivors are on the space with the trebuchet and no um, zombies remain on it. So, cool. Huzzah! <laughs> Sounds easy enough. Cool. Yeah. Um, Starting off. So the person that we all agreed on to start off. Go ahead and start off. Yeah, go ahead and start off. The person, person that all that of us agreed. said, you know what, let's let's start with Marcus. All right, sounds good. <laughs> um, I think I am going to... One, two... With Rolf? Yes, with Rolf. I've activated Rolf. I'm going to attempt to open that door. Three. Did I make some noise, door. but I do not actually open the door. That is the end of his turn. I am going to activate Sully now. She has three actions. I am going to spend my first action to jump Ooh. with her. And destroy what's And kill a scene. My beautiful boy um, I am going to try and open this door now. Okay. Not very good at I... opening doors. <laughs> No one asked you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll go ahead and give it one more action. This is my third and final action. Okay. You have Four. three actions? Yes. Everyone has three, three, three actions. Oh, I thought you start with two and then you move up to three. No, because you went one, two. And All right. So now that I opened the door. We have to flip to see if something's yes. in there. Um, so, spawn. Oh, oh great. Gosh. Good. So, the first... Um, Creature that we've spawned was an orc necromancer, which, which means a spawn point goes there, right? Yes, and also, oh, dang it, I actually don't have the card details points. right here. If we can zoom in on this, we probably can't zoom in on this, but it details right there what comes in. Sorry, um, but yeah, that adds one orc runner, one orc walker, and one orc fatty to the horde, and so we're going to use this little board to keep track of what's in the horde. That kind of right. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Going to flip over the next card for the, for the other Necromancer. One. Nothing in sight? Nothing in sight. That's actually one of the best. Because we're all low level, because we just started the game. Yes. Uh, there's so, nothing in sight. Uh, if we, any of us had leveled Should up... Should we like show off the card whenever we flip it? Because um, that's I, not in shot. Yeah. I mean, you can either do there it go. there Ta -da! or on the board there. There we go. Up. Mm -hmm. that works. So, the other room that we need to... Uh, Spawn something in. Oh, do you is... have to flip? Wait, do you have to flip one for that right now? I did. That was the second one. Why did you do that for that right now? Because um, when he comes in, yeah, uh, you uh, create a spawn point, but we're not at the create a spawn point, and you also flip really? over. Really? Yeah, immediately. Yeah. That's brutal. He comes in. I didn't with even a... know that because yeah. it never happens when we open doors. It only ever yeah. happens. It's, on, it's during the spawn rad. phase. Yeah. yeah. Um, enter the horde, Which and so this is guys. a second oh. room. So everything in the uh, in the horde. Gets brought in into that room. Yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking strategy. Uh -huh. Go ahead and sacrifice what's her bucket, Sally, and yeah. let them come out, and we kill them off. You know, as they come. Yeah, I think that's smart. I think that's good. Uh, break. Cool. Done. All right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> um, I created a second sound token when I tried did, the second did. attempt. So there's two sound tokens there. Okay. Those are both my actions. So. All right. I think it's your turn. Now we can actually do my turn. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing I, I'm going to do. Um, so Megan has uh, a ranged Megan. ability. Megan, Megan, <laughs> Megan. Uh, so she's going to go one, two. And I'm going to have her shoot into the room pew, with her telekinetic blast. Uh, so I need a... The, the sleeves are killing me, actually. <laughs> the sleeves are not great. I'm, I'm so scared of knocking everything over. That's good call, good call. Uh, should I roll onto the board, actually? Just so you can see sure. me roll. Yeah, yeah, kill that it. That is a good good hit. All right. Good, solid hit. So that kills the Orc Necromancer. Which um, means that goes away. Yeah, when a Orc Necromancer goes away, we get to remove one spawn token. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but... But we want it to be this one. Yeah, we want it to be this one. <laughs> also, in this particular quest, only Orc Necromancer spawns can be removed when you kill a Necromancer. Oh. Yeah. Forgot about that. One of those rules. Yeah. So you so gain it's... one XP point. Oh, yeah, I do. So I'm going to go... Bink. Yeah, um, no XP for... Blowing doors open, I guess. And that so, was three... That was three for Megan. Yep. Uh, um, so does that also cause a sound token? It does, in fact. It does uh, cause oh, a sound token. Telekinetic blast us? Yep. It does, because uh, I have to cast chanting. an incantation. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of like well, what I did. Why you gotta outside. yell it? <laughs> you just gotta say it, man. Uh, any sound. Any sound, man. You know, they have... A little known fact about zombies, they have hyper-tuned ears. Ah, yeah. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, so with a scene now, I'm going to go two spaces down to Rolf. Where's my what? Timer. Uh, and I'm going to go uh, ahead and... Should I not be talking? Go for it. Okay. I was like, if you guys need to work something out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to open this door. And I'm rolling like thunder. I don't know why thunder. But All right. I, I so him trying to open that door creates another sound token. It does. Um, now that that door is revealed, we're going to spawn. Wait, there we go. One Which orc, is one orc fatty. Woof, not great. Uh, and it also puts an orc fatty on the board. That's yes. a lot of zombies. So, so that's not great for us because orc fatties do two damage. Is that correct? Uh, three. Three damage. It can one, one hit. Yep. And KO the any only of us. one who has a weapon that can kill it is Rolf. So luckily, so Rolf we're good is there. <laughs> oh, did we also? Do we also all agree on and decide on how the equipment was going to be? Each one of us uh, has a later. special weapon. <laughs> so, I'm just giving it, I'm just saying that. Everyone has a special weapon. All right. Oh, man. Okay, my turn. Um, I love you, Marcus. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> well, you guys pretty much took all the, uh, all the hard parts. Um, you can come kill this fatty. Uh, I can't. I don't have anything that has... Hit stronger. harder. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, there aren't crits in this one. There so. aren't, unfortunately. Um, they don't have exploding sixes. We're going to need to find equipment fast. Yeah, for sure. That we will. I forgot sure. how you find equipment. You have to search. You just search wherever? Yeah. Can I search right now? No. You have to search inside a room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I can't move anywhere close enough to be able to actually do anything, so... Correct. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just move both of my characters one space. One. And 
they're gonna just go ahead and hang out right there. All right. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Your with your blue abilities, can they do anything no, of use? Not anything of use. Like I have transmutation yeah. and shove. Actually, let me go ahead and move three spaces. I'm gonna move all the way over. That would make more sense. Here. Yeah. All right. Oh wait. Uh, so normally you activate one uh, survivor at a time and finish their activation, but he was uh, not doing anything special, so no attacks were made. Yeah. Nothing was done. Uh, hey, Mister Expert on this game. What is double casting? I can't remember. Double what casting. Does. Yeah. Um, I it's believe, my blue ability. Yeah. When you uh, cast a spell, you can also um, when you cast an enchantment action, you can choose a second target for that enchantment as well. Okay. So it's basically like you get yeah, to cast okay. it twice. That does sound familiar. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Anyway, I actually have yet to play any of the spell casters. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've ever? only ever tried like once. just the crossbow dude, and well, you've only played this game like two or three times. Three times. Three yeah. times. Yeah. All right. So that is the end of the player's phase because all players have taken a turn and activated all of their survivors. Yep. So now we are going to move on to the zombie phase. Dun, dun, now, dun. Uh, special rule, all of these zombies will not get an activation until the blue door has been opened. Um, however, the rest of the zombies will each get their activation. So this one's going to move one space. It's the active. Yeah, it um, Orc runners get a second activation, so that one's going to move out right there. Um, now all orcs have activated. We are going to spawn. Um, so we're going to start with this one and just go around the board. Spawn, uh, or flip on the... Orc necromancer, mm -hmm. which adds... That's in the shot. Is yeah. that in the shot yeah, on the yeah. side? all of those cards are in the Oh, board. I didn't know that. My so, bad. adds those three to the horde and adds another spawn token. Let's do this. Why are there so many necros? Oh, sorry. Going to reveal nothing in sight for this. That's good. The next one over here. Always really good here. Another one? What did you heck? shuffle this? I did. Jeez. Which uh, also means that the necromancers get a, an activation. Yes. Every time um, an orc... Necromancer card gets drawn. Any necromancers on the board get us another activation. Can you flip this just so and where did that necromancer spawn? Um, he spawned there. That so way. he's going to try and escape the board by getting to the next closest spawn zone, which is going to be right here. So he's going to try and avoid all survivors and get over there. If he does, then this spawn zone becomes permanent, which we don't want that. Luckily, he's got to go through a lot of survivors, so we'll most likely kill him. Yeah. Uh, the last one is right over here, which is one orc walker. Walker. All right. Zombie ranger. So that ends the zombie phase. Now, during the end phase, we're going to clean up all of our Sound. noise tokens yeah. and pass the first player marker to the player next in line. Yay, me. Your first player, happy. I, no, I'm not first player. I'm second first player. That's true. I'm happy enough, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to start up a new round, and yeah. so he's going to go ahead and go. Okay, uh, so the deal with moving outside of spaces, because I can't kill this orc fatty with the seam, and so when I move here, it's going to take away one of my actions, essentially, an extra one of my actions. Yeah. So I'm down to one action left, but I'm going to try to slash up this here necromancer um, with my third action. Yeah, get cut. I didn't, though. I didn't do it. Okay, you're gonna get cut. Um, uh, why, why do you guys keep talking about firing me today? I don't like this. <laughs> no, like that's like a, a thing. You know, you get cut because he's got. A oh, I thought you were gonna cut me from yeah. the video. No, no, no. Uh, like no. just put a black bar over me. Fired the whole time. is different. Okay. I yeah. See, I see. Man, cut um, is yeah. You're gonna like you know get cut. Jeez, um, it's so violent with you. Well, we're playing a it. zombie game. I, I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to with uh, with Megan now with her turn. I'm going to go ahead and try to kill the runner. So remind me, Marcus, expert on this game. Um, if I'm using a range spell, if I'm re using a ranged attack within the same square, is what it I'm trying to hit. As a... it still counts as also range. potentially so, hitting. Yes, so it's so going to follow uh, targeting priority, which means. Um, First, you're going to hit walkers, then fatties and um, abominations, and then you're going to hit runners, and then finally the necromancer. Well, I mean in terms if of... If okay. you fail, yeah, then you will hit any friendlies. Yeah. So I have a 50% chance of hitting you. Yeah, it's not great. However... I'd hit the guys in the room and... Yeah, I'll just shoot at the guys in the room. At least, I mean, I can only hit one of them, though. Yeah, because there's also my guys, too, that are chilling out over here. Yeah. Really? So being able to kill the runner is very likely... As long as you're not in the So here's the thought. 
Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just, first. I'm just gonna try to blast this guy. All right. Oh, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Never mind. Forget I. Two. Nope. So I missed. Generates I can, a noise token. Does generate a noise. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll left-handed just so my sleeve isn't is very cumbersome. You just we did not do think the, about this. You know, the, the pinch. There we Five. go. There you go. Right. There you go. I killed All right. Him. You killed get the one guy. XP point for. I get one. Another one with Megan. Yep. Yay! The XPs. Generate another noise token. Yep. So right. I have two experience with Megan. Um, getting Look up on. there. Stop saying that. <laughs> uh, okay, and then pff, there's nothing else I can really do without endangering my friends. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's it. Uh, Megan's right. going to chill. She's going to like throw up peace signs like this. Cool. So those are all of your actions. All of my actions. Move on. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use... I'm going to go for Baron. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate Baron. He's going to move into the... Um... Right there. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the... <clears throat> I feel like Johannes would make less Yeah, I'm going to actually move Johannes over here. Oh. And go ahead and take a shot against that dude. Do it. Roll on the board. Five. 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 One XP point for that. Um, Does not generate noise. That's right. Because I'm not a noisy boy. All right. I feel like that's something you would have said. Um, uh, one more action left with Johannes. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and back him up one. Back where he was uh, or back up? Sorry, this way. Yeah. There. Um, cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Baron to move into the square with the runner, runner bucket. And go ahead and attack him. All right. Because I just need a four. Mm-hmm. Yep, same with all with the others. Yeah. <laughs> Use this one. It did well for you last time. It did. Well. Well, it sucked that time. You want to uh, re-roll so that? That kind of got, like, there was some interference but there. I, I can roll it again, right? You can roll it again, actually. You yes, can take it. You've got one more action. action so. yes. yeah. This time, don't roll it off the board. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, as long as you stay on got the board, it. you're good. Cool. Okay. So, one XP is there. Ooh. Um, all right. And that'll end my turn. All three of your actions are used up. you had better kill that fatty right there. Yeah. You're you're in a bad way if you don't. Well, a lot of people are in trouble. Um, well, you've so. got three rolls on one guy, so. Yeah, so I'm going to go okay. activate the first one. Yay, it's that there. is a hit. So the Norse sword does two damage. Yes. Which is what is required of the fatty. So he gets one XP. We're going to go up and kill that necromancer. What's your bloodlust melee thing again? Does that give you something? That does, actually. Like, you get a free attack, right? I or think you can, I can move, move into a square and attack yeah. with a free yeah. action. Yeah, so bloodlust combat, bloodlust melee. Spend one action with a survivor. They move up to, up to two zones, to a zone containing at least one zombie. They gain one free melee action yeah. to use immediately. Which, I am going to use bloodlust as my second action to charge this guy. Smack him. Nope, but you get one I'm more going action. to spend my third action to miss again. Suck miss again. again. Um, <laughs> yeah. So those are my three actions. Uh, I suppose I will activate Silly now and try and rescue you. And you. It's also you. So far, one it's more not action. Very well. Oh gosh. Yeah, there we there go. It is. Fourth time. All right. Time, that's what you that say. I kill the necromancer and remove his spawn. Good. We needed that. Yeah. Um, all right, we're not in a terrible place anymore. No, just cool. in a bad place. <laughs> not terrible. Uh, now bad. it is the zombies phase, so we're going to activate the zombie. It's going to move out. Whoop. And he's dead. And Perfect. we killed him! That Yay! Is... Um, Megan used a judo throw. He's, ac- yeah. he's activated, so now we are going to spawn zombies. So, enter the horde! That's not great. Oh my gosh. The good news, though, is this was on the first activation, or the first spawning, yes. so no more get spawned. So yeah. at least there's that. So whenever uh, Enter the Horde is drawn, all other spawning that you need to do this round is done. So luckily, we don't have to spawn for either of these. Yeah. So we've just got this horde of zombies chasing us now. Mr. Ranger, sir, over there. You know, all I right. just realized something. What? This In horse face. doesn't make any sense. Because he's got guts spraying out, but he's also half buried and bones. So he's how do you bo- have? He's not buried. 
like the this part right here is like partially buried like how do you have bones like partially covered by stuff but also still have guts available it's been there for a very long time yeah but that they've been like have... slowly snacking at it but then you wouldn't have guts Sure, he would. They've doesn't been make preserving sense. it with necromancy. It looks necromancy cool. Power, anyway. I'm just saying. Um, it doesn't make sense. It is now Rusty's turn. Okay. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Johannes and pick up Do a barrier. It. Pick it up. All right. And so it's one action to pick it up. Yes. You carry it as long as um, it's your turn. It's a free action to drop it. At the end of your turn, you have to drop it. So, yeah. Which I will go ahead and move. Boom. Two. And drop it. Free action, so you have one more action. Mm-hmm. And I will go ahead and... Do you have enough range to shoot him from here? Oh, wait, he's a fatty. He can't kill him. Yeah. Unfortunately not. I'm going to go ahead and just move him back one. That's fair. Um, to be ready for the next cool. round. Um, Baron will... Fatties are two, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's an issue. Don't have... I can move out of that square, though, right? And just search? In that um, room? Yes. Without taking an yes. extra action? Yes. It'd be but two. It takes two. another action to move away because yeah. oh, for okay. every zombie in your space, it adds one extra action you need oh, to move away right. to that right. space. Okay. I'll go ahead and move out of that space then and into the, into room. the room. All right. And, and search. search. Cool. So you flip. Wait, search or do the, do the X thing? Uh, I'm going to search. Okay. All right. You got water, which he can discard for extra experience points. Well, heck yeah. Cool. I'm going to just go ahead and use it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, There's literally right. no reason to hold on. Well, I yeah. guess there is a reason to hold on to it. There is, but not in this instance. Yeah. All right. Does so. Oh, wait. No experience for breaking down doors, but plenty of experience no. for getting yeah, those out of water. Yeah, I was going to say, water. you don't want that in that pile. That's You're a right. pile. Um, all right. I am going to activate Rolf. And I'm going to <clears throat> bloodlust melee and charge this guy. I have a question. Yeah. So this was one of our objectives, right? To block no. that off? It's not completely blocked off because this path is still open. Oh, okay. So, well, in that, if we block it off... It was kind of a glare right there. Can I actually move my guy over here then in that case? Instead of back? <laughs> Retcon! All right. <laughs> it's fine. So, um, Rolf is going to bloodlust melee this guy. So he charges in. Swings his axe! Nice. And kills him. It's good. It's one good. XP point. Okay. So we got two people with two experience points, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Two twos. And you have one on each of yours? Huh? You have one on each of yours? Yes. I have a one and a two. Oh, you have, oh so we have three people with two. Three though. twos, yeah. I'm going to move there, and then that's my second action, yep. and then my third action I'm going to search. You're also not going to reveal the objective? I'm going to get it with Sully. I've yeah, got we need axe. weapons, man. You get a vault weapon whenever you take an objective, so there's that. Oh, really? oh so that's why you're saving it for Sally, because she's well, your favorite. Well, also, because it would have bumped him over to the other. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get five experience points whenever you take an objective. So I don't want to quite cross that yellow threshold just yet. That oh, yellow threshold. back to my question. So yes. if this does get blocked off, is that completing the objective and I get five points? Uh, no. No. no, I think it's specifically uh, searching the objective yeah. thing. That's, um, yeah, only taking these objectives gives you five experience right. points. Yeah. This is something that we shot. have to accomplish. <laughs> it, it was worth a shot. All right, activating Selly, I'm going to spend one, two, and then I am going to collect this objective. It is not the blue objective. It's so... never been the first one. Yeah, it right. never is. Ever. Um, but that gives Selly five experience points and a vault weapon, which I get to choose. You get to choose? Yes. You don't just draw? No, your choice. Which is really nice. Some of them it's random. Sick. This one you're actually gonna choose. Dibs on the bow. Yeah. Crossbow, uh, especially if they crossbow. have one. I don't know if they have one. There's only lava burst, which uh, orc cleaver does two damage. But I am going to take a dwarven axe. The bone too. sword. Yeah. Actually, I, was, I thought you would have grabbed the kukui. Um. Well. Well, it's because I get to have the dwarven axe. How do you say that? Kukui or kukui? kukui. I'm taking the bone sword because the bone sword's better um, starting off, and if I get the kukuri oh, it's on top of it, what is it? Oh, kukri, kukri. kukri. That's it. Yeah. So I am going to take the bone sword. Now, if I do get the kukri, then I get two extra dice with this weapon. So mm -hmm. this one already gives me. Nice. Uh, yeah. So or maybe I'm going to try. Kukri. You could. I will fight you for it. <laughs> 
But. So it's three actions? That was my third action. Okay. So it is now so your turn. Then. Okay. Uh, with the seam, I'm basically just going to do the same thing. Uh, well, not the exact same thing. I'm going to move in there. Okay. And he'll get that next time. Um, with Megan, she's going to take one shot at least. I'm going to step up, take one shot, and step back. All right. And get safe. Oh, yeah, there is kind there. of a problem over there. <laughs> that give it. Fail. Generates noise. And step back. That's third action. Third action. All, all right. Done. That's all everybody. done. So, zombies are going to now activate. One activation. Extra Runners activation. are going to get a second activation. Yeah. But they don't hit me yet. Yep. Range. Going to spawn zombies. However, so. if you spawn... Oops. Extra activation. Then we're Wrong one. Those are uh, two orc runners. Okay. And then we're going to add an extra orc runner to the horde. Over here, we've got all orc walkers get it. No, no one gets an extra activation. No extra activation. Yes, because we're still in the uh, blue tier. Right. So the threat level is not high enough for them to get a second activation. Last one, we're going to get three orc walkers. That's a lot of orc but walkers. All the way up there. Oh no, you do clockwise, dang it. Yep. Yep. Which it might actually work out well. You say that. Um, it does have to go to I the mean, side. Before these guys get an extra activation, I'm gonna be able to block them in. That's true. So that's true. So um, part of the easy chair, man. <laughs> so it's your turn now. Right. Right. Okay. Just to establish that. Yes. Um First in phase except uh, we've place. already passed the first player marker and then we've cleaned that up so now it's the player's phase again so uh, I think don't you take mm, this from me I'm thinking it's my about objective it. I got yeah, here is for is that going to push you too high though yeah it too will. early so. exactly <laughs> stay back homeboy yeah uh, <laughs> gosh you can just search the room though since you're in there I know. I'm just like wondering if I want to try and take those guys out or you not. You could kill both of them with one attack with your bone sword. Yeah, potentially. Bone sword. And you get two tries with a total of four dice. Right. That you have a two-thirds chance of hitting with. The bone sword's a little broken. Oh, that was <laughs> mad. Oh, I can't actually use it until I'm in yellow. Oh, no! So, no! So it's not broken. It's, it's not broken. It a... makes sense. Oh, no! So That's um, so bad for you. Yep. Yeah, so I still have a short sword, but um, I could take the second objective and get up to yellow. No. No. <laughs> that is a seams. He called dibs on it. Did get there first. But <laughs> he did not have enough actions. So what?! Be kind. Rewind. <laughs> all right, all right. But I do want to try and get the uh, bone cookery, cookery at some point. At some point. Yeah. At some point. Um, but I won't take it. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate Rolf. I'm going to try searching. Not exactly what I wanted. What did you get? Uh, apples. Teams. Apples. Apples. I have a pan. Uh, I have an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and discard him with Rolf and get that one extra XP. Oh, man. I still I think, love that song. I know. It's a great song. It's so good. I'm going to bloodless charge these runners. Yay. Save me. I'm going to attempt to. One. Nice. I think doesn't it require you to two attack? Yes. To do bloodless, yeah. yeah. Um, then my last uh, activation... Oh, because you searched first. Yes. So oh, the last attack was a failure. I was hoping you would hit so I could start slinging more Burr. spells over there. Right. Um, now I'm going to activate Selly. I'm probably going to search Dwarven Warhammer. Not for her, but maybe somebody else. Well, I'm actually going to Are use going it to? right now because um, I'm going to spend one action to move out here. And I'm then I'm better. going to attack... Which gives me two dice with the Dwarven Warhammer. That's true. I get a hit on a 4+, plus and it causes two damage. <gasps> nice. Kills. Just got it. That one. So, one more XP for her. All right. I'm at the threshold of moving into the yellow. Okay. That was fast. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, those are my actions. All right. I'll let Asim go Next. first. Uh, he'll search that objective. I'll Not the blue objective. A vault Five weapon. experience points. Hey. 
Ayo. That was his first XP. Nice. Which oh, you, which you can't use that until yellow. I think most of them you can't uh, use until yellow. No, none of them. Some of them are orange, even. Yeah. Wow. The lava burst. Lava burst and warp. Does the dwarven axe? Dwarven axe is yellow, but well, the dwarven axe awesome. I can hold. Yeah, six in my on my armor yeah. slot. So I might still take it. Just <laughs> yeah, I'll have right to go now. beat you down. We can hey. trade later. We can trade later. Because me having two short swords would be pretty cool. Um. Uh, yeah. I can also give you. Well, no. All right. No, actually, I can't. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take. Dwarven hammer or Dwarven axe, not Dwarven hammer. Yeah. You have the Dwarven hammer. Mm -hmm. I have the Dwarven um, hammer. So yeah. Okay. So Asim has that. That's one turn. On. Uh, two turns. He's just gonna search the room, I guess, because he can't really do anything else this round. Uh, plenty of arrows. So I can give you that later. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, all right. Cool. One more. Oh, action? you're okay with? Okay. I was confused. I was like, why don't you want? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, and then one more action. I'll just move into this room. Cool. Just get ready. Okay, Megan now is going to cast some spells. Do it. Because there are a couple things in there that she can kill. So, first attack. Oh, there are a bunch of dice on the board. I'll take one. Sling in the spell. First attack. I miss. Miss. Causes noise. Yeah, watch out, Roy. Do we want Roy up here for the whole game? Yeah, he's fine where he's at. All right. Second attack. There we go. I killed one it. One hit. So, walker. targeting priority targets walkers first. So, yes. one of the walkers do die. You get one XP. One XP. All right. Woohoo. Third there. attack. Dang it. Three. Three. Failure. So, that was your third attack? Yeah. Uh, I need two more noise counters. It's a very noisy spot. Yep. Um, all right. So, that is all of your turns. I'm all done. My turn. Okay, um, Johannes will go ahead and pick up the barrier and move the barrier there, which is one action. It's one action, yeah. Yep. One action to pick it up and a free action to drop it. Yep. Um, these guys just take one, right? Yes. Are you just going to farm XP? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually yeah. move one spot. So uh, attack. Special rule with these: these cannot, uh, these barriers cannot be destroyed, um, but they don't block line of sight. Only movement. Yeah. Three! Got you? nothing. Um, so that is your third action. Yep. Cool. Uh, Baron. So for Baron, I'm going to go ahead and search the room once. Don't you reveal anything. There you go. A scimitar! Yeah, I'm okay with that. Gain plus one die if you have curved dagger. Hey, I'll Shh. totally trade that with you now. Yeah, you better. You want to trade? Do we have for... spot? Oh, we yeah. have the same spot. <laughs> Do we have an axe for the scimitar? Uh, yeah, it takes an action, right? Yep. Yeah. One action. So. So whenever you trade, you can uh, freely um, reorganize your inventory. So if you want to do something like that. Oh, um, uh, oh no, you're Baron. Never mind. Yeah. Um, which doesn't really do me any good at this point. I have to wait. But I will go ahead and search again. You can't. Uh, you can only search once per round. Only, oh, yes. really? Yeah. yeah. Dang. You're limited to one search. Oh, per that's right. That's round. the other game where you can continue to search oh, like yeah. a thousand times. What other game? Which last one? night on Earth. Oh, yeah, last, last night. Uh, on Earth. We haven't played them forever. Yeah, another zombie game. Hey, if you want I us to play, can, only, can you? Because you only have one action. In that. I think you yeah, can only you can search once. Stay and keep searching. Right. But, Every round, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, hey, if you want us to play Last Night on Earth, maybe we'll play it. We enjoy playing it, so <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a fun one. Let us know. Yeah, um, let us know in the comments. Okay, so then I guess the last one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move him out of the room. All right. To face this horde together. Yep. We'll all die together, except for a seam who's just back there. <laughs> all right. Well, we're not in yellow yet, so that is all of our actions, right? Yep. You know, this could go horribly wrong. This absolutely could. It it's could. Just it thinking, because um, so since these are completely blocked off now, we've got a wall here and two barriers. They cannot actually get out, so they're not going to activate until either the barrier is moved, um, right. five XP, or right. they die. So nope. uh, all of these are going to activate. Hello! These are all going to this is run lovely. in. These will get one activation and run then in, a second in, activation, in. moving them right behind the horde. Then we're going to spawn. Oh, lovely. We've got an orc abomination. Uh, what? So the fun Over thing here? with orc abominations, in case you don't know, is that they have three hit points. None of our weapons do three damage. There's very so. few weapons that actually do three damage. 
Uh, one of them being on the trebuchet, which is currently not accessible, and dragon bile, which we don't have any. We don't have any pieces for. Yep. We don't have dragon bile. We don't have a torch. Yep. We need those two to yeah, actually yeah, activate. Yeah. Um, and all of its damage will kill you immediately, and um, we can't block it with armor, so it kind of sucks. Not that any of us have armor, but yep. Next. All right, so all orc fatties would have gotten an extra activation. However, we are not in yellow. Were we weak boys and girls? Yep. Which is actually good because one of us would have died. Oh, for sure. Yep. For sure, for sure, for sure. Right there. Enter the horde. Yes. The one little piece in the perfect place to put up. Yep. That's that's excellent. <laughs> all right. It's kind of a waste, though. Um, in phase, we're going to pass the first player marker, and yeah. all noise talk tokens have been removed. So... Your turn. It is my turn. Um, Run away! <laughs> I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, if... Wait. Megan, right. Megan's in there. But she's going to hit somebody. She doesn't hit a bad guy. Um, I do have a short sword that I can trade you. Yeah. You do. I don't have anything to get. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay. All right, All right, so, so that's one action. One action to get that short sword. Uh, she does have a sword in the picture, so she's, clearly she's good at this. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully she's better at this than she is at blasting people telekinetically. Second? Yes! One more XP. Uh, you'll kill either... So, um, melee attacks do not have to follow ty- targeting priority. Oh, that's right. So, you get to choose. Um, obviously, you can't kill the fatties because they uh, require two damage, but... Either the orc runners or the orc walker. Uh, I, it doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, walker, I guess. Walker. Yeah, because they're both gonna hit for two. Um, if they get an activation, because sort of, yeah. uh, ultimately get two they're gonna do two. Yeah, yeah. two damage. Like in this situation, because none of us are gonna be able to run away from the square. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Which, by the way, my guy has shove, so I can actually push all of those zombies into the previous square they were in. Oh, yeah! So, I totally so forgot that was a thing! Go nuts. Oh, I should have killed the runner then. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I what? missed with the second one. No, it's fine, because, I mean, right. the runners are going to get a second Oh, and now it's team. Second activation, but they still won't get to attack. Yeah. He could st- I mean, if he's going to be safe, he might as well step up and attack, right? Yeah. yeah. You can search and or just attack. Up to you. There are a bunch of people who are going to take turns in there. There are quite a few. But well, but no, almost... he's going to shove them before you get your yeah. turns. So. so I should step up in there and attack to make sure that we can kill these guys. Right. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm thinking. That's that's my strategy. Yeah, I think we should probably just go ahead and go after it. So right. one action, you get those two zombies. actions, a miss. Wait, oh, wait. Your scimitar oh, sorry, I get two can rolls. actually get two dice. I'm going to re-roll. Unless you're using your short sword. I'm not... All right. Wow, two kills. Two hits. So I could have stayed back in there to search. Yep. Uh, it's fine. Two experience points? Ooh. Oh, uh, that does push me into the yellow, guys. Wait. So it it takes you to move into the square of a zombie? It takes an no, extra... No, it doesn't take any extra. You can move into it, but to move away... Oh, to move away. Every zombie okay. in that square takes gotcha. one extra activation. Uh, so I, that did move me into the yellows, guys. All right. Wheel, that sucks. Yeah. So, oh, so I get one more action, actually. That's kind of cool, but I can't do anything with that action. Yeah, whenever you uh, cross a new tier threshold, you get a extra skill. When you get to yellow, you only get one uh, additional action. That's the only skill that, uh, well, actually, every hero gets. Yep. But yep. he's now he can now use that one extra action this turn. To do nothing. You can move back into the room. Uh, no, you can't. No, I can't. Um, can't attack? Do I? Attack? It I, I, I can, yeah, I can't hurt anything. Um, you can just hit them. So for my third act or fourth action, I'm going to give you a short sword. So you okay. have two short swords. That works. So you have two dice this... to roll, basically. Because they have the two handed fe- uh, feature. Yeah. So if you have two weapons of the same name type, you're going to use both of them at the same time. Well. Yeah. That's how that works, all folks. Right. Uh, so that's all. That's all. That's all me. I'm all done. Cool. Which doesn't do me any good because I still only cause one damage with both my. Sides. I mean, yeah, but like if we have a horde of um, walkers or runners, you're good. It's if helpful. you want to trade with me, uh, I have a dwarven warhammer. Which yeah, so you could you could whack some people real good. Has two damage. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Because um, I have a dwarven axe, so it doesn't really matter. Can I take both of your short, short swords? swords? Yeah. Because that oh, Okay, way. so it was worth it to, for me to trade. Because I was like, all right, you guys just kind of made it worthless. Yeah, I can't no, use the bone sword actually. at the moment. Yeah, um, I'm going to try and get to there with Sally to get the yeah. bone kukri. All right. I think it's kind of selfish of you to have um, one person with two vault weapons, considering we only get four. Just put that out there. <laughs> But it's fine. <laughs> it's a phenomenal combination. It, it is very good. Is very so good. I'm going right. to go ahead and... Kick some butt. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish out my turn with Baron um, by attacking yeah. once and then shoving for my next one. You get so. two dice. It does cause two damage. So Two hits. One, one hit. hit. One hit. Still got... So we'll get one experience one point. And then I'll go ahead so and shove close. the other two out of that square. Ooh! Back one. Perfect. All right. Johannes. Now, Johannes um, is going to go ahead and... Uh, I can't open any doors, no. which is a bummer. These guys I can kill, right? You, you yes, could. you can. <gasps> Excuse uh, me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get some XP. Let's go ahead and start rolling. Death. One. Death. Two. Death. Three. Man, that's all I have to do. Right there. All right. This is your elbow, by the way. The what? It's in a pretty bad popping. Oh, no. It's in a really bad. Three experience points, and that is the end of his turn. Yep. Rolf has no idea what he's going to do. Well, he's a barbarian, so that makes sense. It's true. Right. You can run up with your Norse sword. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. You don't. Lie. You probably um, actually shouldn't. I'm going to. <laughs> um, Bloodlust. <laughs> I'm going to activate Sully. Um, I'm going to spend one turn to trade the axe. What? Uh, with him. With Rolf because the axe um, is actually a lot easier to open doors. It does not require a dive. Oh, that's right. You're just going oh, yeah, to automatic. Right I'm over going there. to jump. Be a punk. For my second action and for third action, I'm going to move right there. Cool. Um, for Rolf, I'm going to move in. I'm going to search teleconnect last. Oh, that's, that's useful to you. That's that's Hey, that's actually barbarian. good for me. Yeah, you can dual wield it. I can dual wield teleconnect blast. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I'm gonna stay there. Like, there's not much. You're not gonna come and protect us. I can bloodlust out. Right? So it's true. Yep. Hmm. Help. Okay. All right. Cool. That is all my turns. Now we are Zombies. going to activate zombies. I think now really we're going to yeah hmm. spawn zombies. We're in yellow, right? We're in yellow. We are in yellow. Two orc walkers. I feel like two orc walkers is actually better than an orc fatty at this point. Yeah, we've got quite a few weapons. Uh, next one, we've got four orc walkers. But we can't use most of them. One more to the horde. That's a lot. It is a lot. In that spot. And then this one. I hope Roy is safe. Enter the horde. <laughs> yeah, all right. If we could always have enter the horde on that space, that'd I'm be okay great. That. Uh, that'd be yeah. wonderful. That'd be great. I did not rig it. <laughs> We're just getting really lucky. If you had rigged it, we would not have gotten an abomination that soon. I think the only this thing that he rigged was just the first player. Yeah, that the was first really player the and... Uh, yeah. yeah. It was sitting in front of me. Oh, sure. <laughs> took yeah. it. All right. I wonder if you um, set up the board, in phase, too. Okay. We are going to pass that along. Yeah, to the third first player. Um, have we only done three turns? No, we no. To, this is six. No, I'm... Okay, I, okay. I was like, <laughs> third. no! Yeah. I just had like an existential crisis right there. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Mm, I mean, I'm going to say just for, for Baron, um, he's going to have to take another swing. really hard. Yeah. He's, he's just going to have to take a swing at these, for Baron, these big for guys this. here. Two, two hits. kills. Two hits. Yes. Dos Sekis. What? Because it's, sorry, bad joke. Um, Dos Sekis. But <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's one. So if you can get him up to yellow, 
you could potentially kill an abomination on your own. No. Yeah. yeah. He gets one plus one damage if he rolls a six. If I roll a six, potentially, yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah. But I already have a thing that causes two damage. Um, yeah, but I'm, but that does two that's damage. That's only when you are using that weapon. That's what I'm saying. If he gets up it, to yellow, it's only a. Uh, it only causes one damage. What? My dwarven accidentally is one damage. I thought it did two damage. Nah. No. My dwarven hammer does two damage. Yeah. Oh, I got two dwarven. Oh, items. I wouldn't have gotten the axe. That sucks. <laughs> But it automatically oh, destroys like doors. So one that, that oh the war cleaver yeah hmm. that's one die melee oh maybe that's what I was thinking that's yeah. fine it's totally fine okay so I got those two guys oh. out the farm and hopefully not at the farm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back them up too all right two spaces yep to join crossbow bucket oh, and crossbow. Yes. You have his name in front of you. Yeah, I like crossbow bucket better. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just start firing off. Actually, I guess it's a bow. Well, um, Sally's going to go into that room. Do you want to give her some backup? No. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Six. All right. One orc walker is dead. Although I might. No, because I can't shoot through these. Yeah, no, but you can move through those and reveal if there is anything already. Or she can move through there and reveal be things. alone. <laughs> I'll be alone. <laughs> Not for one turn! Hmm. I guess you are going after me, right? Yeah! So. That's what I'm getting at! Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to help her! Get one XP I was actually for... thinking I was... I forgot that I was going first. Right. Thing. Get one XP for uh, killing the walker? Yeah. The first one. Uh, no, I'm yeah. gonna just go for it. I tried. Five, Five sorry. Okay. All right, and and a so, three. So one more XP. So you're not yellow. Okay, all right, almost. You are done. Yep. I think I'm going to go ahead and activate Rolf first. Okay. Every time that's really like such a gross Speed. name. Speed. It is. Once per turn, <gasps> select a survivor in a zone without uh, zombies. They may immediately perform a free move action of up to two zones. Now, how do you keep as a barbarian finding all the magical items? Yeah, give it to give it to Megan. <laughs> what are these papers? Megan can, <laughs> Megan can hold that in her in her armor slot. Cool. I am not on your spot. Yeah, but you're next to me. Um <laughs> once per turn, select a survivor in the zone without zombies. I'm going to put this on myself. No, no, no. Here, hear me out. Hear me out. You you go up into my space, you give it to me. Then I have it, when I take my turn, I can cast it on you, and then you can move away from that square. Can well, It makes sense. Can you take your turn after? Uh, they immediately perform oh, a free move yeah. action okay. of up to two zones. Yeah. Could potentially do that. It makes a lot of sense. You have convinced Ralph. Yes. Second action. Third action, I'm going to go ahead and pass both of those. Oh, thank you. Do you want the sword? Because I'm not going to have it anymore. Uh, might be good for you to hold on to a melee weapon. It's in case. okay. All right. But I've got all my slots filled up. Everybody. All right. Um, now I'm going to activate Selly. I'm going to spend one action. So anytime we cross over a hedge and we don't have line of sight, we've got to roll a die on a roll of one... We find an orc walker. Anything else? We are good. See, I figured you, she was going to be fine, so that's why I was like, eh, whatever. You figure. I you feel figure. like I'm going to try and open the door. Yeah, go for it. So, because I um, have the axe, I automatically open it. It does cause noise. But that's my second action. We're going to spawn zombies. Two orc walkers. Two orc walkers. Not great. Well, that's not bad. Not bad, but not great. It's only two. Um... I feel like just to be on the safe side, I'm going to uh, move one space away. Hmm. But you can't see him then. I know, but I mean, I can't do anything. Was that not your... Th no, that was only your second. Yeah. Now you've taken three actions. Yep. Okay. All right. I mean, the most damage they can do to you is kill you. So you're all done, right? You're right. What, what am I worried about? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're all done, though, right? Uh, yes. Okay. That, those are all okay. three of mine. Okay, so remind me again what... Uh, speed or what double casting exactly does? Uh, 
Let's just consult the ancient tome. Like, if just I to be use sure. an enchantment, it works on two people. Um, double casting, double casting. Every time a survivor performs an enchantment action, which speed is an yep. enchantment action, uh, they can select an extra target for the same enchantment for free. First designate both targets, and then resolve one application after the other in any order. So, yeah, so it's it really is good. selecting two targets. Okay. Then, okay. So, you can only activate it once. Yeah. But I can hit two people with it. Yes. So, you can activate a Seam and Rolf. Or myself and Rolf, which would allow me to get up there and at them, which is what I was thinking. Mm. Because I would because it, it cast one. You can't cast it again. Two, two. No, it would, it would take three. Yeah. But she doesn't have the extra action yet. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I think I'm still gonna do it on her though. Okay. Okay. So first, I'm just gonna move a seam out of there. It's gonna go oh, okay. one, two. He'll join Sully. He can join you on the on the run in there afterwards. On the fight. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna go speed on both of us. Uh, so that's one action, and so on both of us. So I'm gonna take my two to move over there. Free action. Yep. He'll probably. And can... so I have two actions left, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna cast telekinetic at the last little runner over here. All right, telekinetic blast. Which I have two telekinetic blasts now, so I can roll both. All right, I can roll both. It's a very noisy. Zone. Yeah. It's a very noisy it's... spell. Uh, hey. one XP. Woo. Getting experience. And that is the end of the player's phase. So zombies are going no, to you activate. No, you went first. Wait, did uh, I? Oh, just okay. Moved you just yeah. moved. Dad coming. Yeah. You gotta wait. <laughs> Throw right. me off. Uh, spawning. We've got one orc abomination, which gives them one extra activation <sighs> since we do not have another model. It's a good thing we moved out of that spot. Yeah. Uh, Somebody would have would have been dead. Yeah. Would have been bad. Uh, next one. We've got two orc walk. Oh wait, I did not activate these. My bad. Marcus, what are you doing? Uh, that one has two orc walkers. And then one orc walker gets activated or sent to the horde. Yeah. Now this one. Ooh. What is an it? orc abomination. <laughs> no! Okay. That was the worst card that could have happened. At least he needs one more right. activation to kill somebody. End phase? Yeah. <laughs> that is all of the... Oh, that's um, I honestly expected that thing. I was like, we're safe now. That thing is on the other side of the map. We're good. He got really got close, really fast. Three activations in one turn. All that's right. rough. Cool. Uh, Rolf is... Uh, player's turn again. Yeah, what do you even do now? Just poke the guy in the belly or something. I was thinking Swords. we could have people run out this way now. Because <laughs> that's more safe than being in, in trapped in this corner between two spawn points. Yep. Or Four. one spawn point and something we can't kill yet. Alright, so... Um, I wish I had line of sight. Yeah. Um, but nice. I'm going to probably activate Rolf. Yeah. Rolf would like to attack, but... He can't do anything. So here's what here's the thing you could do. You can go two turns, bloodlust. And I'll come join you. I can also shove the guy back. Mm -hmm. So using my dwarven hammer, obviously, because it's my, my biggest weapon. All right, yeah. I think I'm going to two actions. Okay. Oh wait. He's only got three actions. He does only have three actions. Too bad I wasn't going first. Yeah. This turn because I could shove the guy back and then save us a whole bunch of. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um. I'm going to spend actually two actions to move over here. Okay. My last action to. Trade. Okay. With Sully. What if she doesn't want to? <laughs> Did you ask her? I, I, I had a quick conversation. She was oh, okay. Like, eh, she eh, was just why not? I'll give you the axe. Um, but that allows her to reorganize her equipment and Inventory. get the two short swords out. Inventory. 
Now I'm going to activate uh, selling. One action, I'm crossing the hedge that we do not have line of sight to. There is not an extra orc walker. Second action, I'm going to attack. One Double kill. kill. That gives me one XP, which crosses her over into the yellow. So she gets another action. And you have two more, right? Uh, yes. And you could use the bone sword. I can. So if you, you took an action that. to reorganize and then attacked with the bone sword, you could do that. I mean, rolling two dice, though, to not a kill the guy. Rolling two dice on a four plus or well, rolling two dice two, on a three plus. I've got four dice potentially right now. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to go ahead and just try and attack again. Four. You just got him. It was moot point. And then I'm going to spend one more uh, activation there. So that is all of my turn. Dude, I don't know. Um, okay. The abomination is so, The abomination right really is a roadblock right now. Um, <laughs> geez, I don't know, man. I just don't we know. We could shut it and then pick up one of those. That's what I was actually thinking about doing, was if I could shove him and then throw one of the things there, because we don't have a huge horde, so if there's an enter the horde here, it's not a big deal. And at least buys us a little bit more time. Or there's a necromancer there, and that becomes an issue. I'm just saying, we don't yeah. know what comes in over there. It's true. But even with the Necromancer, yeah, there's a lot of dudes, but most of the time we're able to kill off a lot of them. This guy, we can't kill okay. at all. First thing I'm going to do. You can jump him in there and throw the barrier down. Yeah, I guess I'd have to pick up the barrier first. Shove, sure, why can't you do that? It. I don't I, see why I don't you can't think do that. There's any rules against it. I think yeah, because uh, I mean, because it's you pick up the okay. But I'm going to take my turn while you're while you're looking that up. Go so for it. one turn we have line of sight because it's Ellie. Two turns, um, no, he's already in the yellow. There's no point to him taking the objective. No, um, I almost did it just to spite you. Uh, <laughs> I would remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Never again. Uh, three. I'm just going to search the room. All right. Oh, I get four though. Yeah. Yes, that's step one. That's step one. A torch. A torch. Um, that's how they say it in some countries. I guess four, I'll just leave the room. No, it's really not. I think. All right. So they say it in some states, maybe. Okay, now Megan is going to... I really don't know. I honestly do not know. Hmm. Here's what Megan's going to do. Here's what Megan's going to do. Megan's going to cast speed. Uh, um, what? Without Oh, zombie without zombies, zombies yeah. in a deck on it. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Megan's going to go 1-2. <sighs> I was thinking of going over there. Over in there? No, past this hedge here. It's uh, risky. You never know if you're going to find an arc walker, but... But it's a one in six chance. Ho yeah. However, it could be, a, if it's a walker, it takes two off my health. Yep. That's why it's, like, always risky. Mm-hmm. Here. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. I've, I've solved this game. I've beaten this game. Um, Man, that's, that was fast. Now I'm going to cast speed on myself. And you know what? That's I'll cast it on Rolf too because what the heck? Um, I believe you have to, have to be in the same space. Selected survivor in a zone. Yeah, so but is you're that the same selected for a survivor casting? in this zone. So uh, I don't believe you can. Well, it just says in a zone without zombies. It didn't say in a zone. Make sure the zone doesn't have zombies. It's just okay. saying in a zone without zombies. Yeah, so you could cast. Mm -hmm. So double check on, on double casting. Um, okay, to see who that are they you going to target though? Uh, you myself and, and Rolf. Uh, you can't see Rolf. His line of sight does not work diagonally. Sure yeah. it does. It does you, for me. You do see um, my guy, though. Which yeah, but you have a zombie in your space. Oh. So never mind. I'll just cast it on myself. That's fine. Oh, I thought it was you couldn't have a zombie in your so space. So I go, one, now I have to reveal. I still have another free action, but I free movement action. But I do have to reveal right now. Yep. There is one. 
It looks like there's a zombie. It requires ahead. two movements too. Two move. Ah oh, no no! Dang it! I mi- I the game beat me. <laughs> I figured out the game. The but, game. Beat no, I did me. not. Dang it! But so I'm dead. Uh, no, you just have to come over here and help me out if you want to. Yeah. Well, don't you have a free? Oh, it's just a move action. Yeah, it's just a move you action. Can't attack. Nope. nope. Guess I'll have to go save your skin. Yeah, if you could. If you could. All right. So my it. turn. Is yeah. going to start off with. I really thought that that was smart. I really did. By <laughs> when plans backfire. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the barrier. One in six chance. Shove the abomination. So there's two actions. Um, <laughs> totally I can't believe that worked. Game. That's so great. For <laughs> yeah, because uh, you you don't actually have to have no zombies in your space like, like yeah. you can pick it up at any point yeah. it just takes one action so so it's like you picked one, up the barrier two. you shoved him with the barrier and it's threw it yeah. down in his face yeah. that's um, amazing and then oh, that's probably connected number three will be to there sure um then for johannes over here johannes. he's gonna go ahead and one two get an attack Please. I can't. Why not? Because I'm not in yellow yet. You've got three actions. So, you have three actions. Oh, yeah, I could go one, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and do that then. Here we go. I think All the right. spike bow particularly says it, it's it, used It melee. has a melee. Yeah. yeah. It has uh, two yeah. stats, one for a melee attack and one for a range attack. Well, you suck. I suck? <laughs> or are you talking to the dice? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, that's what he meant. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm done. So cool, is that great. two damage for uh, one? It gets or? one activation, so it only attacks one person. So okay. um, we're going to go ahead and activate uh, zombies. So players have to decide. It's going to be me. Probably you should be. charging through hedges. I thought I had it. I thought I worked it out. All right. All... Um, Activations have been done, so spawning or necromancer. Good. I mean, at least it's that spot, honestly. Yeah, because yep. the nearest one is over there. All right. Across the board. A new spawn token. Two orc fatties get spawned in over there, plus Good. one added to the horde. Good. Over here, we've got three orc walkers. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. No, just one there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and then the last one, we've got four orc walkers. It here. actually is good. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. Gosh. Cool. Uh, so these are all blocked off, thankfully. Yep. But that necromancer is actually going to try and go all the way over here. Yeah, so it has to go through Just everybody. Legs. Yep. So we're good. Probably. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, cleanup phase, you started. Mm-hmm. I started. So... All right, so I'm going to start out by cleaning up my mess. Uh, A couple of telekinetic blasts over here. If you miss, you still hit. Ah! I hate this. This sucks. I'm going to open the door. (laughs) I'm just going to ignore everything. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to open the door. Telekinetic blast uh, opens the door. It also reveals any (laughs) zombies in there. Yeah. Why can't see? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's why this makes no sense. Why can't I put him at my back and then just shoot two telekinetic blasts? Because like it makes he's... sense shooting into a separate square. But right. if like if it's in melee square, I should be able to go like pew pew pew, and then I'm not gonna hit you. It's he's, impossible. He's, like, he's, he's in the middle of trying to save your butt, striking at it with his. Butt. Yeah, so I just say, "Get behind me, loser!" And I, she wouldn't say "loser" to him. She's actually quite nice. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes no sense. Is all I'm saying. Well. It's my right to... to, to so to, what is it? Uh, on a three or less, you hit me? Yes. So basically, if I miss, I hit With you. two dice. So potentially... I mean, I could damage. just roll one dice if I felt like it. Hmm. One action. Yeah, I think you should just go ahead and... This is lame. This game is lame. Melee. And All right, see, you got one. a six. So what were you even fussing about? Uh, one XP. <laughs> see, now you can go ahead and break down the door yep. and... You Although, gotta, I broke it down. Break down the door? Yeah. There's a lot of orcs that are going to be flooding us here. You know what? I don't care. Well, all right. I broke it. The door has been broken down, so we're going to we're spawn. Die. We basically have to nah. draw a card for every room 
inside of this building. Oh, those. Oh, I didn't see those. So they're all connected. So first one, we have three orc walkers. Everybody watching is going to think I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what is that guy doing? Uh, we'll go here. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, guys, I think we're running out of orc walkers. Which so means they activate. If we run out of orc run walkers, of so this was four, right? Yeah. yeah. Next one right here. Give me a runner. Three orc runners. Okay, jeez, thank you. But oh the other one's gosh. all one room. See, that's what I was thinking, is I only saw these two. I was like, well, that's all one room. And then the last one has two orc walkers. Which we have enough for? And thankfully, because we still have to add one here. <sighs> Just enough. If so we, we have to kill some walkers right now. If we There are a lot of zombies out here on yeah. this field, guys. Yeah. There, there are a lot of zombies. All right. You're this is wrong. where it gets rough. Uh, You're not wrong. We're almost out of zombies over here. Yeah. The yeah. extra zombies. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's all of Megan. Jeez Louise. That was a mess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next is Asim. I guess he's going to run over and try to help. Because he has three... But that sucks though, doesn't it? That's not good. May we roll all ranged attacks once with weapons with the arrows. You have a bow, right? Yeah. So you yeah. use arrows? I do. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna go one, two. No line of sight issues. Um three, I'm gonna give you this plenty of arrows. Do you have anything you don't need? No. No, I don't have anything. Um you can put that in your bag. Oh, I can. Yeah. In my knapsack. In your knapsack. Um, he does have a fourth turn, but there's nothing he can do, so he's going to just chill, I guess. My turn's over. My turn of ruining this game is over. <laughs> uh, but Oof. you can now fire into Man, that room. I'm glad we had just enough walkers. Just that would have been Yeah, that would have been bad. But maybe right. we can add some thing. more. Yeah. Uh, go, Johannes. Okay. Um, Kill everyone. So walkers are one health? Yes. yes. Everything that we spawned in here, anybody can kill. Good. Is the good news. Johannes is going to go ahead and just leg loss these guys. Do it. Um, nice. Or maybe not. Plenty but, of arrows. But plenty of arrows. Um, allows you, you yeah. to re-roll missed hits. Yes. Yeah. One All missed hits? Um, one time. One time. Yeah, so that's your one. Roll. I mean, it says all ranged attacks. Once that use arrows, yes, yeah. So all mm -hmm. ranged attacks, yeah. which I now have one free action. So you essentially roll position. with advantage, yes, on all of these. If which for is... all of our D and D players out there, yes, Two. take it. Another XP. All right, three. I'm gonna use a different thing. Oh. All right, all right. But you uh, get a one more action. But you one fourth more action. Do I? Yeah, you got, you got four. Actions? Oh yeah, because of the. I was like, why did I roll so many dice? <laughs> okay, this die sucks. It does. It's not good enough for you. This die sucks. You gotta stop. Well. You, you gotta stop switching dice. I think All that's right. your problem. All right. Yeah, they, they get Duh. angry. Okay. It's angry. So. It's angry. That's that guy. Yeah. Cool. Um, you also have Baron over there. Baron is here. There. Are... Because I am here. Hmm. It's a. It's all mine. Oh my. So moving into that square up above there will Would be bad. But I do have the Dwarven Hammer, which allows me to roll two dice. It's and true. And cause two damage. It is also true. And I also have shove, so I can push all of those guys out of my square. Yeah, so actually that turn. might not be a terrible idea. You can go for it. I might save one action to move back. Well, but he has shove. Well, I meant shove them. They're pro they might get an extra activation. Yeah, they might get... So they'll it move might. into my square and then activate again, which would kill me. Um, yeah, that's true. Unless you kill all of them. But I'm also moving through a hedge, so there's going to be an additional zombie that might spawn, so, which I still shove. Yeah. So And that won't cause any extras. So, okay, we'll do it. Moving into... Do the thing. For one action. Well, two dice. Because you're using a broken hammer. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Sorry. It's like, I ended up rolling a one. Um, How do we do that every time? Yeah, I don't know. This is really not going well. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Warhammer. And I got one guy. Killed right. one. So there's two. That's, so you, oh wait, but XP? you get your XP, so you're up 
to four activations now, right? Nope. And then... Okay, well... I shove all of them out of my square. And then one more activation? Nope, that's it. Oh, that's third? Yeah, I moved in, attacked, shoved. Oof. We should probably be fine. Really hoping for that that other kill. Yeah, the other kill or not spawning another walker would have been really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either way, I'm probably going to die next turn. We only have three spawn points, though. (laughs) Uh, this is ugly, guys. Um, Maybe we'll get into right. the horde. My turn. I'm going to activate Selly. Do it. I'm going to pick up the objective. Get your. Kukri. It's not blue. Uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get five XP. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to rearrange these. So you could kill a an abomination. No. Right? No, it still only does one damage. If I had a, I something that two? gave me two damage, then I could, because the Bone Kukri adds it's one damage to another equipped melee weapon. Yeah. So, so you can kill fatties, but... One, two, three, four. Hmm. That's it. Um, I'm wondering if I search, because there's no zombies I'm going to be able to kill this turn. This is true. I think you should. Norse Shield. It's pretty good hmm. for your buddy. Yep. Um, so, that's one, two actions. I just realized I ended up with the same weapons that my character actually has over there. Like the little, so he's got a, the yeah. war hammer and the axe, and I <laughs> happen to have the war, or the, the hammer and the axe. It's true. That, that works. My character has, what, has a staff and a sword. So I guess, sort of, I kind of have that. A little less, one extra. Yeah, I don't think they have stabs in this They game, don't have though. stabs in this game, now. Which seems weird. It seems like that should be a, that should be a thing. Like yeah. any spell you have in your other hand gets like extra damage or something. It's two actions, three, four. And it even comes with a hindrance that you're not able to roll. Or like have multiple spells, you know? Hmm. So, I feel like that would make sense, but oh well. Oh wait, did I move up to... I know what I'm going up? to do. Three, four. Oh, dang. Um, that's four actions. Yep. Was I at yellow? Or was I at seven or six with her? I think I, I had it literally on the, on that. I don't think she was in yellow yet. You don't think so? Like, didn't I get a kill in there? I, that didn't push I me over. I don't know. That's I feel like I got a kill that should have pushed me over. I mean, I, I killed all the guys that were behind the door. So behind the door. Unless you got that one guy. Oh yeah, you that did get pushed one guy. you over, but. But I emptied the the place we were. I feel right. like I was at six. Didn't I get an extra turn? I don't think so. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I don't remember. So this might help, but it could be bad. But Sully is done. I'm going to activate Rolf. I'm going to do one activation to trade for the Norse Shield. Second action. Third action, I'm going to Bloodlust. Okay. No, actually, this might be good. Because it means the walkers don't. One, it two, means they're more one dead. One die walkers. to another equipped melee weapon. Gain two dice if Norse shield is also equipped. So one, two, three, four. Good. Get four dice. So you should kill these guys. And you did. Two, three. You would have killed three of them if they were there. He gets one, two XP? Yep. Okay, cool. It's not quite in yellow yet. <laughs> so that was my third action. But right. it cleared up some more. Walker. Yes, so, so we hopefully. should hopefully be okay. Hopefully we just get a bunch of runners. All right. Hopefully so. Or fatties. Well, I mean, that's not ideal, but it's better than the other. <laughs> all right, so that is all of our turns. So orcs oh, are going four to spawn points. activate. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, yeah? Those are not. Jeez Louise. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Jeez Louise. Every every single time something moves, I just I I, just, I get so scared. <laughs> Spawning, first one. Here it is. Three orc runners. One more runner over there. That's Second, good. orc fatty. Okay, okay, okay. This is what we wanted so far. Next one, two orc walkers. All right, two is fine. We have two. We yep. do have two. We've only got one more. So okay, just not a walker. 
It's Last not a walker. One. Anything. Two orc fatties. Yes! Yes. That was perfect! That works out. It also well. puts fatties behind the wall. Ooh. Yes, All guys. Right. Guys. We survived that one. Gosh. We gotta kill some walkers. Alright, clean up phase. Yeah, that's that's exactly uh, what's gonna happen you next. You started? So. I'm about to clean up. Yeah. Cool. Don't okay. go into that room, though. I mean, obviously, don't go into the room. But don't go into that room. So, I'm gonna first go ahead and work with Baron. Yeah. And we're gonna swing. We're gonna swing away. Here we go. Come on, I just need one. Shamona. You got one. One hit. One XP. Which means I am now at seven, which means I get an extra action, which also means that I can use my dwarven axe. Dwarven axe, yay. Which means I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. I need two more die. What? Oh, roll that's six. right. It rolled six. I get that's to roll six. That's why it was really good. Yeah. Gosh. Only oh, hits wait. on a five plus. One, two, three. Only hits. on a five plus? And it only has one damage. Yeah. I forgot. But that's three kills. Okay. That's three. Yeah. All right. So it's two. So three. Three XP. Two turns though, right? Yeah, that's that was your second action. Two, three. Mm-hmm. I'm just like... <laughs> just cleaning house. Dwarven with a Dwarven axe and Warhammer. <laughs> Right. All right. So this is gonna be my third action. Oh yeah. If you roll a six, you get plus one damage. Yeah. So boom, boom. Two. Two more. Okay. One more action. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna go ahead and back out of that space. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we need to block that space off, don't we? We do. But we probably ought to clear that out first. So yeah, I'm gonna go it's ahead and back idea. out. Okay, Johannes is going to go ahead and take a shot at the dude that's in our space currently. Don't worry about the one in our space because Asim can only do melee. Oh, okay. And so he can take care of that. So just worry about the ones back there. Okay, I'll go ahead and take my shots then. Yeah. Here we go. Clear these All right. out of the space here. So in case we don't kill enough in there, he's not gonna be able to do anything. So. Reroll? Reroll. Yeah, little, little Might as well just roll there. two dice. Why? Just like because you get to reroll every single one. So oh, just yeah. roll two dice, but only one success counts. We'll just note that. I could do ah. that. Or just roll uh... one dice, though. Nope. <laughs> nope. I feel so like you have more luck actions. if you had another die mm -hmm. in there. Come on, Rusty! Oh my gosh. Come on, Rusty! <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so there's three actions. Yeah. And I've wasted every single one of them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So. One and more. And I can't move. No. Not anymore. Um, you can do this. You can do this. You can get one kill. You can get one kill. I believe in you. Is there anything that I can do? There is nothing that I can do aside from that. Aside from continue to shoot. <laughs> I did great that first. Yay! Oh, finally! Uh, one orc walker. One orc walker is dead. All right. All right. Well, that ends my turn. All right. <laughs> you did go through quite a few. You did. With Baron. Baron killed That's, a lot. I did kill a lot with Baron. So your turn was All not right. a waste. Johannes is Yeah, you, I mean, this turn, the, the last turn he took, it was great. Like, it was he was wonderful. He was wiping. He was All doing right. He Baron. Yeah. I'm going to uh, activate Roth. Roth. And he is going to bloodlust. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what I mean. Does. Yeah, two hits, two two kills. So both. I'm uh, going to kill the necromancer. Uh, and I thought the necro. Oh, that's right. No Melee. targeting for Doesn't her. matter. So he gets two XP, which bumps him up to yellow. Yay! So nice. now he has a fourth action, and we're just barely getting to yellow, and we have some people this are, yeah. insane amount of. Uh, of he's going to kill board. this. Uh, wait, yeah. that's the problem with this. With this. Uh, yes. With this um, quest, is it so objective heavy that you get like experience so fast? Three, four. I think I'm gonna move. Like, like it's so quick to get to yellow, but then you could just get stuck at yellow. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that is Rolf. Which is a couple people at yellow. I mean. Yeah. Um, Sally, Sally. She can do whatever she wants. Like, there's not much she can do over here. But she could take four moves, right? She could take four. Yeah. Can you jump when you don't have line of sight? You can't, right? Nope. I have to have line of sight. So you join Rolf. 
do some searching, some soul searching, but also some like searching, searching. Wait, if you jump to kill the guy, and then you could move out of the square again. Yeah, I figured that guy's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need to worry about that one guy. But the one, I mean, a scene can do the damage, but I mean, being able to try and thin out some of those, unless you don't have. She's got a telekinetic blast. Yeah. And I feel like it's not gonna do a whole lot. Um... And there's still one damage that we could probably mitigate. All right, one, two. All right, that's actually. However, just know that if you back out after getting the kill, you nobody has line of sight on that. You'll have to roll. I can back out here. He's at a corner. He said diagonal. You don't. I'm gonna back out. Oh, you're gonna back out that way. One, Uh, two. Two hits. You get four die with that one too. Yep. Because I have a bone cookery. Oh, plus two died. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> and then fourth. All right. All right. Well, now a seam is worthless. <laughs> uh, no, here's what I'm going to do. Worthless. I'm going to trade with Megan so that she can rearrange hers on not her turn. <laughs> Basically, is what's happening. Um. And then, so it's one action for him. And again, there's really not anything he could do. If I break that door, though, nobody mm, spawns, right? right? Yeah, because we've already opened that, that space. So I'm going to do that. Other guy. That's my guy. Two. Uh, That's why we match colors. <laughs> right. Three to... You want to try and take out the dudes. Yeah. Five. You'd have to step in to do it. That is busted open. And if they don't all die, then he dies. Hmm. Uh, that's three turns, so fourth will just step in. Because right. we have most noise out here, so yep. they're not going to come after him. Um, Potentially, if they're both still there. They should. I mean, he started. Megan's not going anywhere. Unless she casts speed. Which she can, actually. Which, if you cast speed, I can back up. Why didn't we decide this before I moved in there? <laughs> you can move him back out. Yeah, I mean, you just moved him, so it's not like you're... Yeah. But I don't think there's any safer place for him to be, honestly. Oh, well, here if everybody is in that square, though, then that Yeah, but be... the runner... Like, well, it, the runners will get there. Next turn, the runners will attack us. If we move back to this square, the runners have to take one, two moves, and no one gets attacked. Yeah. Of course, Megan could cast it on those two people and move herself. No, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it the other way. I'll have a seam stay here. So he just stays there. If I was feeling really ballsy and confident in my rolling, which I don't, <laughs> I would move there. Because that's a very safe spot. Yeah, the barriers are there. The barrier's there. There's no line of sight. He's very quiet so, as one person no. alone. But, no. Um, <laughs> so instead, uh, so yeah, so that'll be the end of his turn. It's just right there. Um, so now Megan's turn. She has two ke- telekinetic blasts going. Uh, All right. She's just going to let loose a fury. Which I don't have to worry about getting hit, right? Because we're not no, the same right, square. No, I'm shooting okay. outside of the square. Two hits. Two Ooh. sixes. Two XP. Now she has four turns. All right. Or two, yeah, four actions. I was right. Oh, so that means you can go ahead and attack three more times. Yep, and then, well, two, two more, more times, times and then cast speed. Yeah. Or just kill all these guys. Who knows? I'm just kidding. It's not going to happen. But two more kills. Two more. All right. That is that is a lot less scary. Right Another there. noise yeah. token. Yup. Two misses. Okay. And speed. All right. Actually, that's four noise tokens. And two, two spaces. Yeah. So well, one, so so that's up where two. Yeah. up to two. Yeah. Do you just wanna? Oh, uh, where one do you want? There. Here. Or. Um. Let's see. So they're definitely gonna move there. There's. They're gonna swarm a scene. Are they gonna swarm a scene? Yeah. I almost want oh, to put Megan up there next. Yeah. To... Well, I would put Megan there, except she has one hit left before she's dead. So yeah. I think I'm not gonna put Megan up there. All right. Um, I think I might actually move my guy up over to a scene. 
to help with. All right, right there. Yeah. And then, oh uh, no, I'll leave Mecca there. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's my turn. That was a pretty productive turn. Cool. That was not bad. All right, uh, zombies. Not as dumb a turn as Cameron right. usually has. <laughs> Uh, one activation. Orc runners get a second activation. So these all get one. Since these now have line of sight for their second activation, yeah, they're, they're going to go. move to those guys. Not to the square that has more noise. One activation. Actually, they have equal noise. Anyway. One activation. Yeah, but line of sight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was just saying. They probably would have gone there anyway. All right. Uh, this spawn zone. Orc necromancer. You gotta That's stop like, spawning those. That's where the necromancer calves keep just yeah. They just up. always drop uh -huh. off there. All right, another spawn token, which gets a three orc walkers on it. How are we doing on? We're fine, right? We're, oh man, this okay. is a big horde. It's a huge horde. A really if we could put that behind uh, a barricade, one. that'd be wonderful. All orc runners get a second, another activation. Oh. Thank you for coming over here to absorb one of these hits. They only get one activation, so there's three damage. There's three damage. How much health do you have? We both are full on health. Okay. So, I mean, I'll take one. You want to roll for the second? Yeah, let's do that. You may have me a deck. Oh, yeah. Six. Four, dang it. Yes! <laughs> All right. So I mean, both of my characters have one hit left. I'm sorry, Last. Cameron, that you're in uh -huh, a bad uh -huh, place. Yeah. Enter the horde. <laughs> um, three orc runners. We have right, right, right. No. Right. To you, being able to you've talked it. me out of helping you. <laughs> oh. Destroyed, no matter its damage threshold, armor values, or remaining wounds. Yeah. No. There? Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. no! No! Yeah. You, you, you.